is about uh, building single page applications with required backbone, Flickr API, and a little bit more. So you can find more information about this on my personal blog under this name. So I will publish this article a little bit later. But here I'm just going to quickly demonstrate how you will be able to go over this to download the application, run it locally, and simply kind of get a grasp of how it's structured. So in order to get the application, you have to go to my Bitbucket account and find the URL Flickr Backbone repo, clone this repo locally, and you will find all the extra details and instructions in the readme file on this specific repo. It's pretty straightforward, so once you get the repo and get into the directory, you have to install all the dependencies. And because I'm using Express.js as a pretty much statical server in this case, you'll have to kind of install that and the other development related dependencies which I've used like Grant or similar. After that process is done, you will have to install the Bowers specific dependencies which are related to the front end code. And in front end I was using, as you can see here in the technologies part, Compass, I was using Backbone, JS and Require as a package manager and certain other aspects. You will find that all inside of the code base. After running, you know, after installing everything and having everything in place, you can simply run the application by executing npm start. Or if you want to go into development mode, you can run, run ground watch in a separate, unfortunately in this case, in a separate console window, and you should be good to go with your development. So I'm going to start the application. And prior to starting the application, I'm going to actually open the application first. So when you open the application, you will find all the front-end related, uh, related dependencies inside of the Bower file, Bower JSON file. You will find a ground file which contains some custom tasks that I have registered for working with the applications. You will find Karma configuration file where I've configured the testing environment for the project. <clears throat> and you will notice that inside of this pro project folder, I have actually an express app.js file which kind of bootstraps the server and is only as I said used for statical as a statical server and on the other hand all the logic for the application is located inside of the public folder and I'm using compass and scss and you will be able to see that configuration is already in place I'm using javascript folder for putting all of my javascript files and inside the main file that gets bootstrapped is actually, you can find it by inspecting layout jade. You will see that upon, you know, upon starting the application, the only, there is only one file that's going to be loaded by require.js and that's located inside of uh, actually inside of JS main. So this file gets loaded and executed. But the point is, in the distribution, I'm already using the minified file, which, which gets generated. So, let me just kind of quickly show you what the application consists of. You should open the browser and go to localhost 3000, and it should be, yeah, everything is in place and everything is working. So the point here was that if you open wireframe specification PDF file, you will actually be able to see the specification that was used for this specific file, for, for this specific project, sorry. And that specific file lists exactly what this project already has 
inside of it. So it communicates with Flakers public API to get all the images for a specific search term, which is in this case by default potato, but you can type whatever you want, like for example, this is the town where I'm coming from, and you can find all the specific assets here. The application is completely written in using Backbone. It's spa application. Clicking on a link brings you to the details page. You have tags. You can easily kind of select the tag and it gets instantly placed into the API call so you get response back with all the items and details for that specific tag. And if you kind of click on, on the image itself, you get kind of now you get rerouted to the Flickr's API page for that specific item. In terms of code, you can also find that there are tests which I wrote and they're all located inside of the public.js test folder and that's kind of a base for the tests. I only have like a little bit of test, a little bit of, yeah, testing here, but it's enough for you to see how you can do it. The purpose of this application was primarily to kind of show you how it might look if you actually start working on something on your own. So, hope this helps. Again, you can find more details about this thing on my personal blog and feel free to contact me on my personal website throughout the form, the contact form. Hope this helps and see you guys.